Okay, so welcome guys. Keep solving our physics GRE. Okay, so 85. Uh, 1 end of nickel wire have 2L and a cross section. So you have this 2L and the A. And then you attach it to the another is L, length L. Basically 2A. And then the free end of the longer wire is the electric potential. So basically this is a a v and uh a, so this is a v or oh, a a is here right a is v and uh this is one v here and let's think about the middle uh the potential at the junction okay let's go middle okay so this is very stupid uh uh, because the resistance just uh, depend on L divided by A. So you know that uh, the resistance, if this one should be uh, 1 over 2, and this is 2. So basically, uh, this is effective like uh, you have a circuit. So you have a circuit. Basically, this is 1, this is 8. And the middle that this is 2R. This is half R. Okay, so you can compute this. Hmm. And uh, you know that the current must be the same. Okay, so the vol suppose this is voltage is V. Then A minus V divided by 2 should be V9 minus 1 divided by half. So you get a 4 times V over 2, 2 equal to V minus 2. So 6 is equal to uh, 2 over 3 uh, 2 5v ok so v is close to 2.4 ok so answer is a ok so 86 I guess this question is also familiar with you guys basically all you need is Faraday law uh yes so for this law tell you what tell you the electric electric motive force basically is d phi b over dt and the phi b just b times da okay so b d a b a just b sine omega t times pi r square uh sine omega t is the angle between them and pi r square is area is the area so this is a 5b. Okay, so d phi over d phi b over dt is just b cosine omega t omega pi. Uh, basically is pi r square. This one. Okay, so so we can. Uh, Okay, so this is the and but if the coil is resistance nine, so that the current just this divided by nine, so it's d phi over d t divided by nine, and uh, we can okay plug all all the uh, all the answer in. Uh, by the way, there is a uh, fifteen turns, so the n should be added in here. Okay, so we can uh brute force compute this. Okay, so we just plug all the answer in. So i is equals to basically it's n divided by r times the difference of phi. Okay, so n b omega divided by r cosine omega t pi r square. Okay, so plug all the answer in. We get this one. Okay, so this is area, and uh, this is n. This is the uh, resistance. Three hundred basically is omega. Okay, and uh, the half is just the uh, Tesla. Okay, so we get the answer. We get the answer is uh, twenty-five pi times cosine omega t. The answer is e. The answer is e. Eighty-seven. Basically, uh, 
you don't you don't need to care about this. Uh, basically, what you can say is that the uh, positive charge Q is placed inside here, right? And uh, for all the other light connecting, what is the net force on Q, right? The net force on Q is the 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 force from the coolant, right? So basically, it's one over four pi epsilon. This is the electric field. Uh, from this one produced at this one and all you need to do is just so you can compute this this is just for q uh, 4 pi epsilon times 361 d squared okay so the force just q times q e basically is uh basically is q q this one okay okay so so the answer is just a the answer is just a so basically you just use you understand the question and then use the code no then it's, then we are done we are done okay and 88 okay 88 is uh, also a simple question so uh so you can so there are three currents uh three uh three sections one is this one is this and one is this and at least uh, this these two does not provide any magnetic field. So the only one is this one, right? The only one is this one. This one provide magnetic field. And remember that if you have a circuit I in the middle one, c the magnetic field is mu naught I divided by two R. So in this case, uh, what you did is what you need is just uh, use the formula, but uh, times the 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 partial. Because you only have the, this ratio, so just theta divided by two pi. Then uh, this is the answer. Okay, so the answer should be should be C. Should be C. Okay, so you don't you don't have to use by law. All you need is remember this formula. Okay, 89, 89. Basically, you have a child standing on the edge, and then maybe go around, and the solid disk, and then you have a mass of child, and you have the mass of the radius. And uh, in the beginning, the you have some omega, and the final, you have some omega. Basically, what's angular, final angular moment, uh, angular velocity. Okay, so basically, uh, you see this, then you know that it must uh, test you about the angular momentum conservation. Or the conservation of the angular momentum. Conservation. Okay. So, re so what we need is the in the beginning, and this is the this is the disk plus the child times omega. Okay, and finally, you still have the same disk, but the child is uh, go to the middle. So, no omega, so omega tilde or omega prime. Okay, so if that these two are equals, you get omega prime at large m plus small m divided by uh, large n divided by 2 plus small n divided by m over 2 times omega. Okay, so this is the answer. Answer, answer. Okay, so we can we you can just plug. A large m is what? A two hundred divided by half and plus forty divided by one hundred times two. So answer is two point eight. Two point eight. Right, this is easy calculation. This is one hundred, one hundred forty. So it's one point four times two, two point eight. So the answer is E. Answer is E. Okay, so ninety is also a simple question. Let me tell you how to do this. I guess this question is very, very simple. Because somebody has got a period, right? Period just two pi over uh, m over k. And uh, for the series, uh, for the, by the way, for a parallel one, then the effective k just k plus k is two k. For a series one, just k divided by two. So that means t two is equals to four times 
t1 uh no no sorry uh two times t1 because there's a square root of two so what is the ratio so as uh, what is the ratio of previous spring count in the period of one to a period of two uh so we have so t2 is much larger right so t2 t1 divided by t2 is half one over half so the answer is a the answer is a okay uh i think it's enough for today and i will see you guys in the next video